Welcome. Here in lesson 3.6, the essential question is how can you use base 10 blocks to model subtraction? What we have here is we have a example 43 hundredths minus 21 hundredths. So what we're going to do when we model subtraction using base 10 blocks, we're going to create our flat pieces. We're going to create our four flat pieces, which represent the four tenths. And for the hundredths, we're going to use our uh, single cubes, which we use as dots for the hundreds pieces. Uh, and what this represents right here is 43 hundredths. Now, from this 43 hundredths, what we're going to do is we're going to take 21 hundredths away from that. And what we do is we start with the smallest place. Just like we do when we subtract, we start all the way on the end towards the right with that smallest place. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract we're going to take away one hundredth from the uh, three hundredths that are there. So what I would do is I would take uh, my eraser and I would erase the three hundredths. I should say the one hundredths from, from the three hundredths. And I'm left with two hundredths. All right. Then what I do is I move on to my next place, the next biggest place here is the tenths place. So what I need to do is I need to subtract two tenths from the four tenths that I have remaining. And what I'm left with is two tenths and two hundredths. Therefore, my answer would be twenty-two hundredths. And here that is uh, with uh, the base ten blocks. Now that last one was a fairly simple uh, a fairly simple operation considering we didn't have to regroup at all. But now if you take a look at this example here, 6400 minus 3800, what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent 6400 with the 6 tenths and the 4 hundredths. Now what I need to do is I need to take, I start with my smallest place, and I need to take 8 hundredths away from the four hundredths that I have here. But the problem here is I can't take eight hundredths away from the four hundredths because I only have four hundredths. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to regroup. I'm going to take away one of the tenths and I'm going to replace it with ten hundredths because there are ten hundredths in one of those tenths pieces. So here I'm going to replace the tenth with ten hundredths. So now that I have, uh, now that I regrouped that one tenth and I've created ten hundredths, I now have a total of fourteen hundredths that are here. Okay, so now that I have fourteen hundredths, now I'm able to subtract those eight hundredths from those fourteen hundredths. So I'm going to take away uh, the four hundredths that are here, and I'm going to take away these four hundredths, and now uh, I took a total of eight hundredths away from the fourteen hundredths that I have, and I'm left with six hundredths. Once I've done that, I move on to my next place, and I subtract my tenths. I need to subtract my three tenths from the six tenths that I have here. So when I do that, I would subtract that one, two, three full tenths, and what I'm left with is two tenths, and I'm left with six hundredths. Uh, therefore, my answer would be twenty six hundredths. So let's look at one last example here. We have two and twenty four hundredths minus sixty eight hundredths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent two and twenty four hundredths with two holes, two tenths, and four hundredths. And what I need to do is I need to subtract 68 hundredths from this. So I start with my smallest place, which is my hundredths place here, and I'm going to subtract the 8 hundredths from the 4 hundredths that I have here. But there's a problem. I only have 4 hundredths. I can't take away 8 hundredths from the 4 hundredths. So what I need to do is I need to borrow from this tenth, and since I don't have enough hundredths, I'm going to take that 1 tenth away, and I'm going to replace it with ten hundredths. So now that I have my ten hundredths uh, that I replaced uh, with the tenth block 
with, I now have a total of 14 hundredths. Now I could take my 8 hundredths away from the 14 hundredths. So I would subtract those four, and I would subtract those four, and I'm left with 6 hundredths. Uh, and now I move on to my next place, and I have to take away 6 tenths. But the problem here now is that I only have one-tenth. I can't possibly take away six-tenths from the one-tenths that I have left. Therefore, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to borrow from a whole piece. Because in one of these holes, uh, there are ten-tenths. So I'm going to regroup. I'm going to borrow from my hundredths piece and replace it with ten-tenths. And now that I've replaced it with my 10 tenths, I have a total of 11 tenths, and now I could subtract those 6 tenths from the 11 total tenths that I have. So I'm going to take away my 6 tenths, I'm going to erase that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm left with uh, 5 tenths that are remaining. Uh, I don't have any whole numbers that I need to subtract from my... Uh, two holes that I started with originally. So as you can see, what I'm left with here is I'm left with one hole, I'm left with five tenths, and I'm left with six hundredths. Therefore, my answer is one and fifty-six hundredths. So what I want you to do is I want you to try this one on your own. 2 and 43 hundredths minus 1 and 62 hundredths using base 10 blocks. Try to solve this. Uh, press the pause button, uh, and when you've solved the problem, press that play button to see if you solved it properly. Okay, so this is what your problem should have looked like. You should have represented the two holes, uh, the 4 tenths and the 3 hundredths, and it should have looked like that. And what you would have done was you should have subtracted by starting out taking away the two hundredths from the three hundredths that are here. And if you did that, you would be left with one hundredth. So in your answer, you should have a one and a hundredths place. And now what you do is you move on to the next biggest place, which is the tenths place. Uh, and you would have to take away six tenths. But the problem here is you only have four tenths. You can't take away six tenths from the four tenths that you have. So what you would have to do is, in order to get more tenths, you would have to borrow those tenths from a holes, a whole block. Uh, and in one of those holes, we know that there are ten tenths. So you would have regrouped, and you would have created ten tenths, which, gave, which would give you a total of fourteen tenths. Um, and now that you have those 14 tenths, now you could actually subtract those 6 tenths from it. So you would take away the 4 tenths that are here, uh, the 5 and the 6 tenths there, and you would be left with um, a total of 8 tenths. What you would have done then is you would move on to the whole numbers place, and what you, you, see, you need to do is you need to subtract one hole from the holes that you have remaining. You would take that away, and then what you should have gotten as your answer would be eight tenths and one hundredth, which would get you eighty one hundredths. And that's how you use base ten blocks to model uh, decimal subtraction.